Hey, Shalom Akim Shalom. Make sure everything is good. Just real quick, real quick. <clears throat> Make sure. Hey, Shalom Akim Shalom. Win again, win again. All right, Shalom brothers. Hey, I'm back at it, back at it again. In the spirit of Yahweh Shema Um, Let's give all praises to the creator of the heavens and the earth. Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai. Yahweh, that's the heavenly father. Yahweh Shai, that's the name of the beloved son who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ. Okay? All right, but you got to call on the real names, man. I'm, I'm, I'm the Lord, as long as he permitted, I'm saying that. There ain't no other name. You got you to gotta call the right names. All right? And it's not Jesus Christ, it's not Yahweh, it's not all these other weird names, man. The names, you're going to learn a true name from the real prophets. All right? Mainly over here at Great Millstone, all right? So you got to call on those names. But uh, the bonds of the apostles as well. Hey, man, usually I'm on my uh, screen recorder, but, you know what I mean? The Spirit of the Lord got me doing it like this, so it is what it is. But we're going to go into a um, current events, prophecy, and madness. And I'm just going to play videos from my, um, from my uh, tablet itself. But it's uh, November. Man, we are, we're done with November. You might as well say it's December, man. It's November, um, man, what, what is it? November 30th. November 30th. I hope I put the right... Uh, date on there but i change it but it's november 30th one more year we're out of this year and you better look up agenda 2023 what esau got planned for this next year you better check out these cbdc's what esau got planned for this next year you know what i mean you see the mighty plan what want to establish his new world order and these Edomites know their, their, their new world order is found in the scriptures. They know that very well. But these devils in their mind, like it says in um, Psalm 14 and 1, these devils in their mind, they say that there is no God. There is no God. Psalms 14 and 1. So they're going forward anyway. And the Lord already prophesied them that prophesied against them that the beast. The false prophet, all going to go into the lake of fire. So they're going to lose. But nonetheless, check this video, this first video that I've been circling around us brothers. And um, this is going to go to show you this guy right here that we finna play. Y'all brother right now, the Lord finna, the, the, the Lord going to do something to this man. And you, you just pay attention and, and very close, you know, and remember what the prophets told you about this dude. Listen, I blame your mama, boy, because guess what? I got the same God my mama got. I got the same God my grandmama got. We don't change God down here in the South. Nigga. Ain't no way in the world mama and them go have us saying, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. And we looking at white Jesus on the wall. Nigga, I ain't never prayed to a nigga. Never in my life have I prayed to a black motherfucker in the name of a God. I'm not going to do that shit. Hell no, I'm not going to do that. You got me fucked up, nigga. I'm not for you. I'm not, hey, listen, I'm not going to play with God. I'm, listen. As good as white Jesus been to us and all the niggas before us, you think all of a sudden I'm just gonna jump off the boat and get over here with you nigga with this nigga God talking shit? You nigga can't get out of slavery. At least that white Jesus got niggas out of slavery. So fuck your God, fuck that Hebrew talking God. You can't feed nobody. I watch Maria and them feed people with that Jesus. I watch Mama feed my dope feed. Uh, ain't it? Uh, kids when she got off on dope and left them at the hotel. I watched mama feed them people with the guards she got. No, nah, nigga, you nigga hot in Shalom and, and, and. <laughs> I know you brother have seen that video. If you haven't, there you go. So, you know, from him hearing the prophets, you know, talk about what the truth is, he, that's, that's the fence. That's the emotions that came out this man. So now he's not only he's not only just talking against us because you you know you could say whatever you is about us we we're, we're number men too, at the end of the day, uh we're just number men. But when you start going against the heavenly father, oh that's a whole different ball game right there. Matter of fact, let's go right here to uh <clears throat> the famous scripture. This is um, Galatians 6 and 7. It says, be not deceived. The Heavenly Father is not mocked. You can't mock the Yahweh Shemel Shai. 
So he personally challenged the most high in that in that uh that little clip. He said, F your God, where your God at. In other words, I'm you know, I'm saying it a little differently. You know, I can't remember word for word, but this is what he was saying. Everybody heard it. And that he he he's into the 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 white Jesus. That's what he's into, and that's the only thing he know. Just like I, I was listening to the brother Barack in the camp, man, the elder brother Barack in the camp, he was talking about. Y'all brothers go back and watch the Willie, I mean, read the Willie Lynch uh, letter. And that 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 dude is the prime victim of Willie Lynch. And that's funny because I said the same thing at camp last Saturday. <laughs> that dude, that dude right there, man. You know, but it's all, it's all, a, that's all a part of this world theatrics and, you know, little childish gameplay. But the Lord going to get him. It says, be not deceived. The Heavenly Father is not mocked. You cannot just talk about the most high and the most high just sit back and be scared or ignore how you just came at him. No, the most high, y'all brought me all shot going he going that dude gonna get an embarrassing judgment. Cause he sit there and he he um he basically like he like just as he like to say, he gonna show his ass. That's how he like to say it. On this interview, I'm gonna show my ass. Yeah, the Lord gonna show his ass on you. You know what I mean? So it says, for whatsoever a man soweth, shall he also reap. And he sold prov provoking words to towards the heavenly father. So you best believe that man is finna, um, man, that man is finna meet the heavenly father's wrath. So I just want to report on that real fast, man. You got our people out here. They just, man, they finished. You know what I mean? They are finished. Now, there's been like, there's been like, this has became a prank now, but peep Jake on this prank, you know, peep Jake on this prank. exactly what is coming nuclear destruction and that that's becoming a prank now now i've seen that another time where where um jake is putting on the fake little broadcast you know what i mean and jake over here when they jake figured oh their eyes all big they standing up they covering their mouth they all scared this the, the thing says nuclear prank on the family. He had to cut it short because um he had to cut it short because it got too serious. That's what it says in a little description box. So they really was bugging out. What you think gonna happen when y'all brought your shot really get these missiles popping? Because at the end of World War III, according to prophecy, the Heavenly Father has prophesied he's gonna clean Esau up. He's going to finish this Edomite with nuclear destruction. 
Let's go right here to the book of Isaiah. Isaiah 13 and uh, 5. It says, they come from a far country, from the end of the heaven, even the Lord in the weapons of his indignation to destroy the whole land. That's the nuclear destruction that uh, Isaiah was talking about. That's nuclear destruction. And there's plenty of scriptures that the Heavenly Father pinpoints his nuclear destruction he's going to use on America. You know, it's many scriptures. Joel, the second chapter is one of that ran to my mind right away. So the Lord is going to send these weapons from the ends of the heavens. They're going to be getting shot from all. Whoever got nuclear weapons is going to use them. Because in the kingdom of heaven, what do we need a nuke, nuke for? Why do we need a nuke? We are the, we, we, we will be the nuke. We will have the power. We don't need a nuke. So all these nukes are going to be getting shot around the world. And mainly here in America because this is where the main deliverance is going to take place. The main part of the deliverance is going to take place in America. You know? And when those missiles get shot, man, man, just like you see in that video I just showed, Jake going to bug out. Everybody in the, the world going to bug out. It says, How ye for the day of the Lord is at hand. It shall come as a destruction from the Almighty. Therefore shall all hands be faint, and every man's heart shall melt. You see that? That's what happened with them. <laughs> Their hearts melted. These motherfuckers' heart was melted. All, 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 everything stopped. You know? They was getting up, walking around. <laughs> Just like it says, got him. Had to cut it off because it got too real. That's what it says right here. Them Jakes were starting to bug the fuck out because they thought that it was their that it was a nuclear a nuclear missile was really getting finna hit them. <laughs> you know, so all faces is gonna gather. All faces is gonna become. It says, therefore shall all hands be faint and every man's heart shall melt. It says, and they shall be afraid. Pains and sorrow shall take hold on them. They shall be in pain as a woman at Trevelyf. They shall be amazed one at another. Their faces shall be as flames. <laughs> they gonna be amazed one at another. Did you not see that? <laughs> Did you not see them? They were amazed one at another. <laughs> like, are y'all hearing what I'm hearing? What? I told y'all. You hear them? They was through. And it was nothing but a prank. Mama, mama had to sit up. <laughs> What they talking about? And, and like I said, <laughs> pains and sorrow. Instantly, you could see that. Look, her, she covered her mouth. They, they, they feeling the pain, man. And that's gonna be a real. That's gonna be real one day. Oh, baby, sat up. <laughs> that's gonna become real one day, man. See, it's not. A, it's a prank now, and it, on this media, social media, <laughs> it's gonna be real. Like, oh, when they said Chicago, everybody stood up. Oh. Because I guess they're in Chicago. <laughs> oh, brothers, man. You know, everything, like all these people right now, they having a little blast in America. They running around, you know, living a little life. <laughs> but they don't know, man. They don't even know. Y'all about your mouth shot. I got something lined up. They <laughs> got something lined up. And the scriptures tell us, watch, <laughs> watch this. Just like uh, certain brothers be saying, watch this, <laughs> watch this. <laughs> when they going through it, we going to be laughing, man. We going to have that good time. Right now, you know, we got to be serious and keep it, you know, on point. But uh, now they finna be through. This is Luke 6 and 25. Watch this, brothers. <laughs> it's like brothers, little being a little um, humor. It says, woe to them, woe to you. Luke 6 and 25, it says, Woe unto you that are full, for ye shall hunger. Woe unto you that laugh now, for ye shall mourn and weep. You see? So it's going to come to that point. They finna mourn and they finna weep, and we're going to be laughing. You know? And, and that little prank was, that, that prank was showing you Jake is going to be, they're, they're going to be finished when the Mosai really decides to shoot them nuclear missiles. All right? Um, 
let's play uh what we else we have here um let's play this right here i forgot what brother had may had sent this out or maybe i seen it i don't know but nonetheless let's play it because this america's finished america is finito i'm grateful for the opportunity to reach out to people around the world to you dear friends I agree with our distinguished speakers. Our climate and geopolitical situation are very urgent. Even in my home country, the United States, the economy is collapsing rapidly. Record inflation is eating away at our salaries and savings, and more and more people are left on the streets because they can no longer pay their rent. Think about it. There is an unprecedented increase in child poverty in the United States right now. My heart bleeds to realize how many children will go to bed hungry tonight and how many more will go to bed hungry tomorrow because the situation is only getting worse. And this is all in America. In America, children go to bed hungry. It's not somewhere in developing countries. It's already happening here in the United States. All this despite the fact that we are the most developed nation in all the world. And we no longer feel safe in our country. When sending children off to school, every one of us is afraid. And we pray. God forbid that nothing happens to them while they are away and we hope that they come home alive. The polarization of society has reached its climax. We are divided, we're pitted against each other, and we are afraid of our neighbors. And all of this is happening at a time when we absolutely must be united because the climate is wiping us Americans and our beautiful country off the face of the earth. These conditions in which we find ourselves leave us no choice. We can no longer stand by and hope this nightmare will go away on its own like a bad dream. It will not go away and we will face the inevitable end unless we act together. This is the first time humanity has found itself in such a critical situation. So we need a new action plan. The existing programs will not save us. Can I let you in on a secret? We politicians, we're sick and tired of proclaiming our endless new action plans while realizing they don't work. How much longer can we keep bad mouthing each other while fighting for our office? We don't have time for these political games. We need a feasible working model that will unite our fragmented society and defeat the undefeatable. And I mean the climate, because no matter how much we are pitted against each other, we all have the same enemy, which is the climate. It is time for all of us, all of society, to grow up and stop the... Woo! Slocky, bro. My arm got a little tired. Slocky. But, um, you know, if you want to go check that video out, I don't want to play it all. I, I, uh, I played three minutes of it. It's a seven minute... I played three minutes and 33 se 36 seconds. It's a um, seven minute video. But it's... If, maybe if you go on TikTok and say, uh, type in... um. Sound like the end of good old USA? We going uh, no no. See the full version of the forum on the official resources of the uh, the Creative Society. But nonetheless, you see how he talked about how this society is finished. It's done. It's finished. You know, this place is finished. But Esau Edom is the one that made this place finished. He did this. You know what I mean? He did this with his devil ass. You know what? Let's continue to go on. Not in my arm. Uh, chill down. Passive. The price of our inaction is human life. 
our lives. I'm an American. I grew up in America. I owe what I am today and what I have achieved to my country, to the people of this country, to my parents and my teachers. It is time to give back to my country, which is now in great need of a new creative format of politics. But first of all, I am a man, a resident of our shared planet Earth. We are all inhabitants of this planet connected closer than the people of one nation. We are linked by an inevitable thread of humanity. It is this quality together with our determination and persistence that will help us to build a creative society the entire world over. With all of this in mind, I would like to announce that I am taking a couple of months to make a decision on whether we will run for president in 2024. Expect that decision by the first of next year. The cornerstone of my election, if I choose to run, will be the building of the creative society because only the incorporation of the eight pillars of the creative society into the, the creative society, whoever the hell they are, None but look like a bunch of Edomites that think that they're going to uh, rule the next. They're going to rule next. That's what it sounds like to me. But nonetheless, check it out. Um, let's go right here. Because when I was hearing that whole little talk, all I think was this. Jeremiah chapter 51, verse 8. It says, Babylon is sudden fallen and destroyed. How for her? Take bomb for her. Pain is so be she, she may be healed. We will have healed Babylon, but she is not healed. Forsake her and let every man go into his own country. For her judgment reacheth unto heaven and is lifted up even to the skies. You, you can't save this kingdom. You can't do nothing about it. Esau, his new order, can't save this place. All right. The creative society, whoever the hell they are, I will have to look into them. They're not going to save this place. This place is finished. It served its purpose. The Israelites served captivity here. The Edomites got the fatness of the earth according to the prophecies. So the prophecies has played out over here. You know? And now it's to the point where it's ending. It says we will have healed Babylon, but she is not healed. You can't heal it. There's nothing you can do for it. So child, like you talking about child poverty, whatever... All that's going to continue to be there. You know? Um, it says, forsake her and let every man go into his own country for her judgment reacheth unto heaven and is lifted up on, even onto the skies. The, to, to the skies. The Heavenly Father hears everything that us brethren, the, the Israelites that, that, that pass away and go back to the Heavenly Father, every, the Heavenly Father is hearing all the complaints against this, this society. These people, these Edomites. Yo, yo, your sins is reached onto heaven because everybody's praying against you. The Israelites, we're waking up back and praying against you. To the Heavenly Father, the one that created all of this and gave you this. You see? So it says, it says, the Lord had brought forth our righteousness. Come and let us declare in Zion the work of the Lord, our God. So now we're declaring to you, Edomites, we're showing you and through going through the scriptures and the prophecies of what the Lord has declared against you. And that's that you, you're going, you're going down. You're going down. You're going to lose your rulership in the planet Earth and you're going straight into captivity under the Israelites because of what you did to them. You know? The Negro Latino Native American, which make up the Israelites. You're going right into captivity. And you're going to receive nuclear destruction in the process of you going down in World War III. <laughs> you know what I mean? That's all prophesied. You see? So the, the creative society, they could, you know, run for president all they want and all of that stuff. But you can hear how he's he's at the same time he's hinting at that he wants he's for the new world order. You know, talking about climbing is the enemy. When they say climbing is the enemy, they're not talking about the weather outside and the levels of the weather. They're talking about you people. 
You're the you're you're the the, the carbon footprint or like Bill Hates put it, you're the CO2. You're the climate. And they trying to uh push eugenics on you to eliminate uh a lot of you so that they can have uh smaller numbers to control the population using their technology and their juicy juice and their MOT to the B, the C hit. You know? So yeah, man, through the spirit and power, y'all about Shamel Shai, man. Um, you know, it's been another one through the spirit and power, y'all about Shamel Shai, current events, um, prophecy and madness. And just want to go through that real quick. Hope that was edifying to you, brethren. And November 30th, you brethren, stay strong out there. We almost out of this this year. It's gonna be another name for the next year that the the that uh the apostles gonna give, and we're gonna move off the the, the, the energy of what, you know, the, wherever the Lord placed on the apostle to say, man, this has been a year of uh, Yahweh Bashem El Shai turning up. Let's see what next year going to be. Because, of course, Yahweh Bashem El Shai turned up. You know what I mean? It's been a lot going on. But, hey, Yahweh Bashem El Shai, brother, stay strong. Shalom.